Hello everyone. I want you to think for a second. What's the one medicine you have in your home right now, in your handbag or even in your car's glove box? Chances are, it's paracetamol. That little white pill we trust without a second thought. But what if I told you that something so common, so routine, could quietly destroy your liver and even take lives if misused? Today's session is not to scare you, but to make you see paracetamol in a new light. Let's uncover what most people never talk about. So how did we get here? Why has paracetamol become the default medicine for almost everything? Let's first understand how deeply rooted this medicine is in our daily lives. Let me share two real stories to show how this blind trust can go wrong. One, a teenager with viral fever took eight paracetamol tablets in a single night. He wanted to get better fast. The next morning, he collapsed. Two, in a village setting, a parent gave different fever tablets to their child thinking it'll help faster. But didn't realize each tablet had paracetamol, leading to double the dose unknowingly. These are not isolated incidents. They happen all the time. That's why we need to talk. Now that we know how commonly it's used and how casually it's taken, the next logical question is, how does paracetamol actually work? And more importantly, what happens inside the body when we take too much? Let's break it down. Here's where the numbers become critical. Adults can safely take 500 to 1000 mg per dose and not more than 4 grams in a day. But we often don't track this. Taking two tablets every few hours? That could cross the limit fast. And alcohol? It multiplies the risk because it puts extra load on your liver. For children, even a 2 to 3 milliliters mistake in syrup dose can be harmful. So imagine the risk when we use kitchen spoons instead of proper measuring tools. That was the science. But let's now step into the real world, the emergency rooms and hospitals, where these stories unfold in real time. These are not just theoretical risks, they are real lives, real consequences. Here's the more frightening truth. Paracetamol overdose is one of the most common causes of drug-induced liver failure worldwide. But many cases go unheard because people die quietly, often while waiting for a liver transplant. We blame fate, but the real cause could be two extra tablets taken too casually. The silence around this is what makes it even more dangerous, with so many cases happening around the country and globally, what are governments doing about it? Let's look at how regulators are responding, and how you might have missed these warnings right in your hands. So what are the authorities doing about this? The DCGI in India now requires liver toxicity warnings on packs containing more than 650 mg of paracetamol. You may have seen it, taking more than the daily dose may cause serious liver damage, but did you ever read it? Children's formulations now come with clearer guidelines on dosing in proper spoons. Even the WHO lists paracetamol as essential but with strong caution. But regulations can't help if we don't pay attention as users, this is where you and I come in. India has a strong self-medication culture, we take medicines based on what worked last time, or what a neighbor suggested. Reading labels? Rare. Knowing dosages? Rarer. We need to change that mindset. The cost of ignorance is not just a bad stomach or allergy, it's open failure. One video, one conversation, one label read, can save a life. But what if someone does take too much, knowingly or unknowingly? Let's look at the early signs of overdose, and what you must do if it ever happens in your family or workplace. Let's say someone takes too much paracetamol, how would you know? In the first 24 hours, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain. Most people ignore these. By 48 to 72 hours, the real storm hits. Jaundice, fatigue, confusion. Liver enzymes shoot up. In worst cases, coma. Even death. If there's even a doubt of overdose, rush to a hospital immediately. There's an antidote, N-acetylcysteine, but it works best in the first 8 hours. Every minute matters. Now you may be thinking, but I've taken paracetamol so many times. And that's exactly the point, we're too comfortable with it. That's why awareness isn't optional anymore, it's absolutely essential. So what can you do? Let's break it down to golden rules. Don't exceed 4 grams a day, keep 4-6 hours gap between doses, use proper dosing tools for kids, check labels for hidden paracetamol in cold, flu tablets, never mix with alcohol, keep it out of children's reach. 
these rules aren't complicated, just ignored. Let's change that. Before we close, I want to leave you with a personal thought, and a question that I hope sparks a conversation in your home tonight. Before we wrap up, let me ask you honestly, have you ever taken more than two tablets of Crossan in a single day, without counting? Most people have. And that's okay, if today becomes a turning point. This is not about creating fear, it's about creating awareness. Let's start reading labels. Let's educate our parents, kids, helpers, friends. And if this helped you, be the one to pass it forward. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. If you found this video valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to Pharma Health Insights with Rajesh. Share this with your family WhatsApp group, especially parents and grandparents who pop medicines casually. Let's turn this awareness into a movement. One safe dose at a time. This presentation is for educational and awareness purposes only. It is not intended to replace professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always consult a qualified healthcare provider before taking any medication or making changes to your health regimen. The real-life cases and examples shared are generalized to preserve privacy and should not be interpreted as individual medical advice. While every effort has been made to ensure accuracy, the presenter and Pharma Health Insights are not liable for any outcomes arising from the use or misuse of the information presented.